good Sunday morning. Uh, this video is a day in the life of an immigrant in San Francisco. It's been officially six months, no, seven months since I moved to San Francisco. Seven months since I moved to San Francisco. And today, um, yeah, I'll take you with me. This is my porridge. <laughs> Yummy porridge is ready. I will now cut my strawberries and get some raspberries and make my breakfast. I will be leaving my house in around five minutes because I need to run to my yoga class, but first I need to finish something. So from my childhood on, I was dreaming of becoming a singer, but um, I became an entrepreneur, which I, say I think is better for me, but I still have this dream of singing, so I will be recording a cover for a song, uh, for Lily Allen's song, recorded by um, a Russian guy. So yeah, the recording is on Tuesday and I need to confirm everything and I'm so excited. We actually already filmed the video because it's going to be a video music video. What? It's going to be a cover um, together with a video which is like one of the best videos I'm gonna have on my channel, so I'm super excited! My new donut socks, aren't they cute? <laughs> Clean floor! <laughs> I am waiting for my Uber and actually people told me it's California thing to start every phrase with so. So I'm doing that all the time. <laughs> You'll be surprised how inefficient the public transportation is here and I can tell you that here in San Francisco I've never ever used a bus. Like never. Um, I've used Caltrain uh, which goes all the way to Mountain New which is like one hour drive. Um, but within the city it's only Uber or Lyft and Uber pool sometimes costs me like three dollars which is the same price as a bus. So I'm waiting for my Uber but it's really um, really tough today because of this Bay Breakers marathon so my Uber costs $11 today. I am moving from my apartment to another one and I was looking at these buildings first. And the funniest thing is that the price for one bedroom apartment in this cool modern building is almost the same as in a small, you know, ugly house somewhere in a different, completely different location. And so we decided to look for an apartment in one of those tall, cool buildings. Um, but yeah, my application was declined twice. And I was like, uh, I have two weeks to move and I don't know where I'm moving. So we decided to go for an apartment that is owned by the building. And these guys are actually nicer to immigrants because um, I came to her and I said, I don't have any credit history. Um, this is my bank account, this is my company, what can I do? And she's like, okay, let's work it out. You can provide this document, this document, but those guys who own the apartments, hello, I'm recording my video. And the guys who own the apartments, they would just outsource everything to an agency and the agency doesn't really care about your credit score. If uh, they actually do well. Uh, they outsource everything to an agency and an agency would just ask them to collect as many applications as they can and then select the best. And I'm not the best because I just came to the States in the work status six, seven months ago. What's going on? There. That's the festival, Bay Breakers. Um, and every everybody goes crazy. They dress up and they run and they scream and they shout in San Francisco. intersection phone <laughs> I came to my friend's place and to her amazing swimming pool there um, I worked a little for an hour and I'm going in for a swim I 
I got ready to see my aunt, but before I go, I want to tell you a story of how I met my aunt. Yes, this sounds funny. So uh, when I first came to the States back in 2013, that was the first day that I met my American part of family. It's a very distant family. I never knew they were here. Um, well, my grandma told me you have some uh, people in the States, but we never met. And then in 2013, we decided to come and see them. And so I have my granddad's cousin who is in the States and his daughter um, is in her 30s. So she's not like aunt aunt. If you think of like she's a grandma, she's not. She's an amazing person. And I'm so lucky she ended up in San Francisco at the same time as me because she was based in New York and I met her briefly and I was like, she's a cool person, but I'm in St. Petersburg and she's in the States. And then uh, if you don't know my story, my story was that I got admitted to American universities and I was seriously considering taking um, masters or doing my MBA, but then we received investment for a startup. So I decided to drop my dream of getting an MPA masters and decided to run my company instead and the best place to run a company in the world i think is the silicon valley if it's a startup so we moved to the valley and she calls me one day and says you know what my company is transferring me from new york to san francisco i'm like this is the best thing that can happen and this year we ended up in the same city which is great because I, I, well, I don't see her every day. It's not like we live together. It's just this feeling that you have somebody close, especially when you come to the city for the first time. Um, that is helpful. So I see her like once in two weeks maybe. And she also has a dog who's going to live with me soon uh, because she's going to travel. So yeah, let's go and see my auntie. <laughs> I was coming here in an Uber with a driver who just moved to California from Indiana and ask him why and he said because it doesn't snow here and I'm like yes yes that's one of the reasons I love California and the second lady was in her 70s and she was um, discussing how she wants to go back to the university and do her masters yeah and we're almost here my aunt lives in a typical San Francisco style home Blood. There. Meet my auntie. <laughs> what is your name? Elena. What do you do? I work in finance. What is your favorite thing about San Francisco? The fact there's a drone above us while I'm trying to enjoy the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> nice. There it is. Wait, it's worrying. <laughs> In your backyard. Just me and my horse. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, what, what's my favorite thing. I live in San Francisco and I have a <laughs> unicorn in my yard. Hello, Sheila. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is what's going on <laughs> with the with the f It's weird it comes oh it comes from Golden Gate Bridge side and goes through the city and Oakland. <laughs> okay guys that's it for today. I'm going home uh, and I'm going to see Silicon Valley episode 3. <laughs> I'm so excited about it because this is actually so true to life. If you're interested in Silicon Valley life, um, you should only wait. But it's so cold. Um, I'm gonna finish at home. Sorry guys. <laughs> So freezing. I'm back home, nice and warm, I'm gonna have my tea, gonna watch the Silicon Valley, I'm gonna work for like half an hour, um, and yeah, that was it, that was my Sunday. Uh, let me know if you like this video, and if you want more of these videos, if you have any questions, please let, them, let me know and leave them 
down in the comments below because my brain is frozen. <laughs> I'll see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.